So folder naming conventions are a lot like file naming conventions. We're uh, going to want to use lowercase alphanumeric characters for folder names, and we don't want to use spaces. So exact same rules that we had for file naming conventions are also going to be the rules we follow for folder naming conventions, lowercase, alphanumeric, no spaces. And, uh, and then along the lines of separation of concerns, so just like we were talking about separation of concerns, we have our, our structure, we have our formatting, and we have our functionality. We have our HTML, the structure, we have our formatting, the CSS, and we have our functionality, client-side functionality, the JavaScript. <clears throat> Right? Just like we have those separation of concerns, when we create our folders, when we organize our code, it's also good to kind of organize our code into similar groupings. Right, And so we can organize our code into groupings based upon that separation of concerns. So we might have a folder structure like this when we first start out, and this is totally fine and a good starting point. And uh, just to have a folder for your CSS. Okay, here's a folder, and I'm putting all my style sheets in there. And then to have a folder for your JavaScript. There's my JavaScript folder. I'll put all my JavaScript scripts in there. And then all of my HTML files. Traditionally, those would just be sitting out. <laughs> like that's, uh, that's how a lot of websites are built. Those are just sitting out. You might also create folders for each of those and, and kind of have groupings of different you know, HTML files. So there's different ways you could do that. But, you know, with your folder structure, one of the main things to think about is grouping similar material, right? So that separation of concerns in particular is really good to do. Having a folder for your CSS, having a folder for your JS, right? And then maybe having a folder for your images or your pictures. You might have both. You might have one or the other. If you have one for images, you might have like your PNGs, your GIFs, your F, uh, uh, SVGs, like the images that are used to make the website look pretty, like your logo. And then in the picture folder, the pic folder, you might have JPEGs, actual pictures of people doing stuff. You might do it that way, right? So uh, however you want to do the organization of your code is up to you. But a good starting point is just thinking about separation of concerns, having a folder for your CSS, having a folder for your JS, having a folder for images or pictures, and then just putting your HTML files right in the root. Uh, so that's a good starting point. And then when you name your folders, lowercase, alphanumeric, no spaces. So the same principles for naming files. So that's, uh, that's, uh, that's how you name your folders and how you start organizing your code.